Kittens! This is Kitty Cat and today I have the pleasure to review a dress that is from a shop called Devil Inspired. That's the right way around. And uh, they sell Alita fashion and similar thing, gossip and so on. They are actually a Taobao reseller. Now if you don't know Taobao, Taobao is a great page that sells all kinds of Lolita fashion stuff and goods and not Lolita stuff as well. Uh, it's a Chinese shop, it's Chinese only and all my friends who usually shop at Taobao usually use a shopping service or maybe they have a Chinese friend who orders for them. So shops like Devil Inspired are those who kind of they become the middleman in between. Then they have a selection of different brand dresses that they then sell on their website page so you're skipping the shopping service what is really really top with devil inspired is their english customer service is great the person that i was in touch with she was spot on she would email me straight away quick responses perfect english nothing to worry about also the shipping worked really well once the dress was finished it was here so quickly i mean obviously this is sent to japan but i checked online and a couple of youtubers i'm going to put links of them as well in the comment box who got also dresses from devil inspired and all of those youtubers have been saying they got the dress really quickly. That even counts for America. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Selecting a dress from their page was quite hard for me because there are many many interesting dresses and prints that I really liked and they're different uh, Chinese Lolita brands selling their stuff there. There was one dress however from Neverland Lolita. I saw that and I fell in love with it and it was beautiful. If you follow my Instagram you've probably seen me post things about how much I love red and red fashion and things like that. So that's a red dress we're gonna have a look at today. And before I tell you more let's just get it out of the box because oh my god all oh, the suspense. Listen to this, this sounds like magic, but let's open it! Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh! Okay, 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 first of all, but um, here, Devil Inspired, they have a little card. Yes, on the page as well, you can leave reviews of the dresses, um, so you can see what other people have thought about the dress before. It's so cute! First of all, there is a beautiful red head bow with a rose on top. Because I'm going to tease you. So you can already guess what colour this dress is. So that's the bow, the head bow. has a lovely rose here on top. And now what's the main? Da -da -da. Da -da. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a normal, normal. This is not a normal Lolita dress. This is a Chinese style Lolita dress. They matched Lolita fashion together with the red Chinese dresses that you sometimes see and I thought that was very very clever. I've done a live stream together with Aoki Misako on the Kawaii Patin channel a couple of months back. There she said the most recent style in Lolita fashion that she enjoys is is country Lolita and I was first like country like yeah, da, 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 da. what she meant is different countries are starting to make their own Lolita so German Lolita, there is China Lolita, there is Japanese Lolita, they're different Lolita Lolita styles with country so it's kind of a new blend a new style and she said she really likes seeing that and she would like to give that a try so same for me here I was really interested in giving China Lolita Chinese Lolita a try and that's why I picked this lovely lovely dress I think that's a very new thing for me to wear I'm really looking forward to that it's neither sweet nor classic it is China Lolita let's focus a bit more on the on the dress you can see this one here is on the back for the shearing so I can make this dress a little bit tighter so the name of this dress is actually water drop open front sleeveless Lolita JSK I didn't memorize that my iPad is over there you have this Chinese high collar that I think is really cool and here a little water drop on, on here if you can see that uh, cute little sleeves like this has little wings on here. This is where the string will go so I can make it tighter in case I need it a little bit tighter. Also nice little detail here, it is exactly the same material that they use for the bow. Sometimes some companies are not paying attention and then use a different material. This one is the exact same as the bow and the rose so that's good because they are sold separately. In order to fit properly into this dress, blip, you can zip it open close, here you can see. That's the inside, nice red in there as well. Now let's have a look at the print itself. So it's actually called Chinese Palace Lanterns and it has lanterns on here. Cute bunny rabbit here who's sitting there maybe waiting for a cup of tea. So all those lanterns going around the dress. Love the detail here. So instead of having bows and quirky things, it's more focused on actually the, the Chinese theme that the dress comes in. So I'm very, very, very excited to wear this. Also, um, it has like, what is that called? Scalloping? I'm never quite sure some of those terms. So it comes up here 
has again some lovely detail here again and under it we have lace and more ruffles so I was gonna put this on and now I've realized there's more there was actually more there is a large bow it was uh at the bottom of the package and again it has like Chinese tassels here which is so much cool detail and it's huge I love big bows so I think this one is supposed to go on the back but it's always good to have an extra bow and then you can like accessorize it and so on that would give you a lovely behind a lovely accent as well so now now let's get changed into this dress let's do this da -da 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 -da. So this is the Chinese Palace Lanterns jumper skirt. So I'm wearing this right now with a little blouse underneath just to keep uh, my modesty, my Lolita modesty, but I tried to keep the uh, the water drop here free. I put on the bow on the back. Not sure if you can see that. Nice bit of detail at the back. It fits perfectly. It fits so well. Everything fits in, <laughs> which I'm glad about too as well. Now lengthwise, this dress is a lot longer than my general Alita dresses. It has a very different cut and a very different style. It has some pleats um, as well. That I'm going to iron those so you can see those properly. And uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. It fits perfectly. It's a nice color. It's very elegant. And the head accessory is exactly the same. So it matches perfectly. That's what I wanted. Oh, yay! Perfect! You will need a blouse underneath, otherwise you are offending the Lolita fashion rules. Ah, unless you want to be very cheeky, I guess. But don't forget, it comes down low here, so you would probably have to wear something underneath, otherwise people will be able to see your bra. Eee! On here it says S, fits me perfectly. Sometimes aging Lolitas are a lot more skinny, and especially the arms, because I'm an arm giant. Check out my muscles here. <laughs> it's just not ladylike. Only thing I would advise you if you're getting this dress, general rules with other dresses as well. If you're taking it off and putting it back on, always try to wear something over your face, because the, um, the neck area is quite tight, and you don't want to wipe off all your makeup on your pretty new dress. Probably wash this by hand, because generally, red runs, even angelic pretty red dresses tend to run, so I'll be careful with washing this one. But then most Lolita dresses you have to wash by hand anyways. Nee. So that was a dress from Drevel Inspired. Sending shipping is very very quick, so if you want to have something sent to you very, very quickly, that's great too. I had so far absolutely no problems, everything went very well, so I'm quite happy with this dress. I'm going to flaunt this and it's nice to have a different style. What I'm planning on doing now is give this dress different coordinate ideas. So as I mentioned, inspired by Oki Misako, when she mentioned different country, Lolita country styles, I would like to give this a bit more of an Asian style soon, so we put up my hair in little buns and accessorize it that way. So if I have new pictures of that, I'm gonna put them up on my Instagram. Be sure to check that out. If I find the time, I will also try to do a Country Lolita little special video on this channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that. What people say, peel your eyes, because no one peels eyes. If you peel potatoes, maybe that's it. So kittens, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this. If you have any different experience, anything you would like to know, leave us a comment. Check out their webpage, because that's a very, very pretty webpage. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and catch you soon. Bye!